Oh. There's the protector out there. Huh? <laughs> Good girl. Well, guys, today's the day to put this girl in the shop here. Now I'm done working on the shop, so we're going to put her inside and uh, do a little maintenance, a little TLC on her. You can tell she uh, definitely needs a good bath. And I want to do some other stuff. So um, one thing I didn't do, I uh, when I took this thing off, I showed you taking it off, but I didn't actually show you putting it back on the truck. Um, so what I do is I leave, so what I do is I actually leave this thing plugged in, if if it is plugged in and we're on the generator, just to raise it because it's fairly uh, fairly tough on the motors. And people when they back up or they put one of these campers on, I've seen it before where they put a, a tape in the center of their rig and all this kind of stuff. And what I found, which works really well, and, and it's probably just because of the dually, is I know if I'm looking in that mirror and I keep that fender about a three quarters of an inch in from this leg over here, that it's perfectly level. Now, I'll show you what, uh, what I did in the back of the truck. So I have inch and a half rigid, foam insulation boards and then I have the mat and then these are just fence boards I was hoping to use five force boards like the deck boards but they were too too thick so um, these are just deck boards and then I just went to a place and just bought some cheap carpet and uh, wrapped it around and it fits perfectly in between these two and that's where she stays so anyways I am going to uh, put the uh, the camper on the truck and then put her in the shop. Uh, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna put the tie downs on it. We're just going around the corner here, so I don't need tie downs or anything like that. But I just thought I'd show you uh, what I do. right now just because uh, it's built in automatically that they only run for about a minute and then they'll time out um, so normally I'd go around and do some other stuff right now but obviously there's nothing to do here so I'm just going to uh, carry on yeah that looks fairly close let's back up the truck As you can see, we're still not high enough yet. Now it looks like my driver's side's gotta go up a little bit, so I'm just gonna lift the driver's side up a little bit. That looks fairly level there. And I'm gonna say that is pretty good for, an, for start, starters here. So I'm gonna take you into the truck with me and you're gonna see that this fender here is gonna be just on the inside of this leg here. And that goes for the same for the other one. So I'm kind of lucky that way. I just have to line this up with that and I know she's gonna go straight. So I'm hoping you're gonna be able to see that fairly, fairly well as like I can on mine. And if I bring you across here like this, let me put that window down too. You see that that's the same on that side there, so. Let's see if I can uh, keep you guys to what I see. Okay. So if you look, see right along that edge there? See that gap? And I'll go to the other side. But all I'm really using is my driver's mirror. Okay. See that gap? So as long as I keep my driver's mirror that way and I'm good on the height. So, yeah, so basically all I do guys is I just line up with the driver's mirror and the driver's fender in, the, in that leg. And that usually works out perfect. Again, I'm just taking it over to the shop and taking it right back off again, right? And so, you know, I'm not too, too worried about being level and everything like that, but I'll, I'll show you what I do. So anyways, spin you around here. All right, hopefully you're still looking good there. So you'll see at the bottom there, and that's why I keep those pads out 
on the edge like that so I don't drive over them. So as you can see right there, that's how far away I'm in there. There's the gap over here. And as you can see inside there, that's gonna be perfect, right? And I'm, all, I'm, a, I'm a good height, but I'll, uh, like usually when I'm, so usually when I'm loading it up for good, I'll come out about three times and it's mainly for squareness. I wanna make sure I'm square, but as you can see there, there's lots of gap there, so there's no issues there. So that's it, that's how I normally uh, install it. I just check on this gap in here and she's, she's usually bang on for me. If you're in a hurry, There, that's it. This is where she's gonna stay for uh, a week, week and a half. I'm gonna uh, take her off in the shop here. Uh, I gotta take a look, see what this thing's doing now. Yeah, so you, I can just see the LEDs. I slowed it down, so I, I changed the shutter speed, but I'm still not in, in phase with the LEDs, but close. But anyways, yeah, I'll just take her off and Today I'm going to uh, do the touch-ups on some seal it around my hatches and stuff I found when I was actually washing the camper um, that I wasn't too happy with. Um, so I'm by no means am I any expert at this at all. So you're gonna have to bear with me on this one. But what I'm using here is a uh, the 3M, the 4000 UV. Uh, this is the stuff they recommend. I've used this stuff before and it's really really good product here. So what I'm going to be doing is when I uh, come up to the area that I want to repair, I've got, uh, like I said, I've, the, the camper's all washed. I've got rubbing alcohol and some pads, and then uh, to clean off the area, whoops, sorry about that, to clean off the area before I uh, apply, and then I have some uh, soapy water here. And what I'll do is I'll, after I apply the bead, I'll just give it a quick little mist, and then when I wipe it with my finger, um, it shouldn't stick to my finger. But again, like I said, I am no expert at this, and. Uh, and I, I'm sure you'll find out, so anyways. See, I don't know if you can see that very, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that very well there, but just right about there, there's a little wee spot there that uh, you know, you, you can tell they missed 
And I went around the camper down below and I put some tape on every spot, but up here I kind of, I didn't really do that. So um, it actually wasn't too, too bad. So like I said, it's not, it's not like there's a huge gap here, but we're, I'm gonna do my first spot here, but I thought, you know what? I'm up here, if I see just a, even it just needs a little bit of a touch up, I'll put it on. Because basically once this, uh, once you open up this tube here, you have uh, 24 hours to use it. Um, and then it basically uh, is no good no more. Here we go. Okay, so what I want to show you guys, okay, that's right. So what I want to show you guys is, so this is the mounting plate for my awning, okay? And then there's these caps here. So I, I painted this just like I painted the end caps for the uh, back awning. Anyways, um, when I took this, what I noticed every time it rained, I would always have like rust coming down the side of my camper here. And I'm like, where the hell is this rust coming from? So this is only held on by some magnets. One there, there, and there. So there's four magnets there, and then this just sits on this plate. Well, they use stainless steel screws, but they, this is just a metal plate. What I noticed is the screws, some of them weren't, like, especially, I, I should have took a, a picture before I actually did this. The screw itself went on an angle. So the top of this screw here, the head was like at an angle, so every time it rained, it would actually just run down inside this plate and go behind this backing plate. So what I did is I removed, you can see how they got the silicone right along this edge here. I took it off the bottom here. So I took it off the bottom here. And as soon as I did that, you gotta remember, like I, this is before I washed it and everything, so I, it hasn't seen rain for a while. Water was coming out from underneath this plate because it would get behind these screws. Like there was no, they didn't seal like they are now, like I did this, or have any kind of a rubber backing or anything. They just put the screws through this plate and of course they're just drilling it in. They don't, they're not paying attention. Like some of these, like this one here was okay, like flat, but I still silicone it. But this one here, and I should have took a picture of it, and maybe I did, I can't remember, but like instead of going in straight like this, it went in on an angle like this. So the top, there was a good, you know, a 30 second of, this, of the head away from this plate so the water would run down and go right into the screw into there. And it's only gonna rot in time on, you know, I don't care if it's fiberglass on the outside, if water gets in there, water's the, the deadliest killer for any camper. Anyway, so, um, so I'm, I, I retouched it up to the top here, but I'm gonna do, uh, do it with this gun here. I had uh, just one of those handheld um, tubes before, you know, those smaller tubes. So it didn't have a nice tip like this one does. So I'm gonna get in here and seal up this end better, seal it up better underneath here. And then uh, hopefully that's gonna take care of that problem. But yeah, I wasn't too impressed. Yeah, as far as quality control, I mean, there's your bracket for the uh, 
bolt uh, rack here. And what I mean, look at, okay, so that looks all nice and purdy and purdy. But the water runs down here. And look at this edge here. Now, sorry guys, I know you're going to be kind of upside down here, but look at this edge. I can put my fingernail underneath that. So I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand where they're thinking. The guy looked at that and said, yeah, I'm going to put some uh, die core on, on the heads here, but I'm, I'm going to see that and say, yeah, that's good enough. Poor, poor, poor quality control. Especially when you got to pay that kind of bucks for a rig like this, you'd expect it to be a little bit better than that. Hey guys, what do you think of that now? Right? Oh, I see a spot right there. Let's get that a little touch up. This is uh, going to be a bigger, bigger uh, fix here. You can see this is the uh, this is the hatch for my batteries. Um, which soon I hope to be replacing that with lithium. But anyways, uh, you can see along that edge there. I peeled the, uh, the old stuff off, um, but there's, qu there's quite a gap here and it's, you know, th this side's pretty good, but uh, it's like, it's almost like when they screwed this on, they didn't have this in far enough or just the way the batteries have, have moved this slightly. I don't know. Anyways, uh, we'll, uh, try to attempt to make this one prettier too. So I'll just take a slower view of this and then uh, when I'm done, I'll do it again and hopefully uh, you guys will see a, a big difference there. So some alcohol pad out here and get this area all nice and ready for silicone to adhere to it. Because it's not silicone, it's caulking. I'm gonna grab, a, that came out pretty dirty, so I'm just gonna grab another one. Or sealant, they call it. You get it. Let me make sure there's no dirt, grease, or anything like that on there. Wax, get as much of the junk off there as I can. Um, I'm gonna try to do this all in one, but we'll see. Said guys, I am new professional. as pretty as possible. I don't know guys, for a guy that doesn't do this, I don't think she looks too, too shabby. I'm like, oh man, should I take it somewhere and get somebody to do this? But there's something to be said about 
fixing your stuff, your own stuff, right? Well, what do you think? I know it's not professional, but for an electrician, it's not bad. It's not bad. So this is what I mean when I put the tape around all the spots, I wanted to uh, just check a little bit. Yeah, there's a spot right there and stuff, so. All right, guys, all done. Going around the camper, fixed up any spots that uh, I felt needed. Um, they all turned out really well, actually. Pretty, uh, pretty proud of her. And uh, I didn't really use all that much in that tube, to be honest. Uh, they say you got to use that tube within 24 hours, and I'm hoping that's not true. So I put it in a Ziploc bag. I taped up the end of it and uh, put it in a Ziploc bag, uh, two Ziploc bags. Because um, uh, Jared wants to use some of it on this camper here, but he's not ready for it. And I just wanted to get going on this thing. I'm kind of getting uh, itchy feet here a little bit. So tomorrow, I'm going to uh, take his boat and stick it outside there, and uh, I'm going to rewash it. Um, it's been about five days since I washed it, and it's still like there's quite a bit of pollen in the air and stuff floating around, so right now it's all kind of grimy on the top, so I'm not going to wax it with that stuff on there, so I'll give it a wash tomorrow and uh, then wax it. That wasn't too, too bad. It took me, oh, I'm going to say a solid three hours probably to uh, go around and all the spots I felt needed it, and uh, yeah. Just one of those things you have to do when you own a camper or, or anything like that, a boat, camper, whatever. Just maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. If you want them to last. Anyways, so guys. Today, it's going to be right. wax day. I'm going to uh, try to do two coats today. So I washed it all again uh, yesterday to get all the, the pollen off her. So she's, uh, she's looking pretty damn clean. So I'm going to do the, the uh, front nose here, and then I'm going to crawl up and do the center because I have to actually physically get up on there to, to be able to reach it and then I'll be able to reach the sides from the lift. But I want to get the front done. Um, it, it just basically this section here, I want to make sure this gets two coats on it right away. So they say it might rain this afternoon, so I want to make sure that uh, I can, uh, if I have to, I can bring Jared's boat in here, because once the boat's in here, it's got to be so close to the camper here, I can't get the lift in, uh, in close enough. And I'll tell you something. Since I've been working on this camper, this lift is just an absolute savior. I mean, well, <laughs> Well, you can just imagine I'm going around with a ladder and stuff like that. This lift has just been extremely handy. I'm going to miss having, working on this camper without this lift. So what I'm using here, guys, is a Scotch Guard. It's made by 3M um, for boats. Anything made from 3M is, or made by 3M has got to be pretty damn good. But the real reason why this will probably work better, it's not just from 3M and it's a marine wax. But right there it says Pleasant Tropical Scent. And I think only the good ones have that uh, scent. So I think this is going to work perfectly. Uh, attraction shake well. So they see apply to the rag. I've never been a real... I've always found that, uh, and I'm... Obviously, I'm doing this wrong. If they, if they tell you to apply to a rag and I don't, then I'm probably doing it wrong. But I like to just kind of put some on the fiberglass itself and then just go around and work it in. But I don't know. I wish they'd make the writing even smaller on these things. It says apply to a uniform layer over surface using a firm circular motion. Allow to dry to a haze. Buff with a buff to a high gloss using a clean dry cloth. Okay. Sometimes they say do not let dry or whatever. And that's another thing too that's good about this is being indoors like this. I'm out from the sun. Um, so that's also very important. Okay, that's enough shaky. Fall off.
Wax on, wax off, wax on, wax off. Well, that's two coats of wax. I don't know. It's kind of hard to tell, to be honest. Look shiny here, but that doesn't mean anything. Oh yeah, compared to the side fiberglass, this front smells like a, feels like a, a mirror. If I'm alive, don't get red. Mm. If I'm alive, ain't no fun to run away. Hey, woo! I can see this being slippery up here when she's all waxed because she's kind of slippery now. All right, guys. I am done. The uh, let me take you up. I don't know how well this is going to show here, but uh, there's the roof. So I got the roof done. I took the cap. Um, that's the top from my um, fridge is right there, down behind the camera down there. I'm going to paint it the same color as I just painted the uh, end caps here. I think that'll look pretty sharp. Um, not that it was yellow or anything like that, but I just think it'll look nicer. Um, and I got, my <laughs> I guess I should have moved this thing before. So I did everything that I can in the lift. So the nose, and I brought the boat back in. Remember I was saying earlier that it was gonna rain? It did rain, so, but I got everything in before it rained. So I got the uh, nose, uh, the top part of the nose done, and all the way down to the seam. Um, How's it look there? Nice and uh, shiny with the lift here. And then tomorrow, then I don't need the lift. I'll just be able to walk around and do the lower section. It takes a long time. I don't have a buffer, like I said, so I've just been all doing it by hand. It's uh, quarter to six right now. I started at 10 o'clock in the morning. It's quarter to six, so I am done for tonight. I think that's going to be it for this one. And uh, we'll catch you maybe tomorrow or the next day. Anyways, guys, oh, Jordan wants to say bye. You want to tell him bye? Okay, what are you going to tell him, Stormy? Okay, guys, you know what you do. Be good, be kind, be careful. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.